Hey, what's going on guys? John here, back at it again with another Tesla video. Now we're gonna be dedicating a lot of these series to the Tesla Model Y standard range here. So uh, this one's gonna be mainly for the Tesla Autopilot. This is not the full self-driving beta that you guys are used to all over YouTube. Um, this one's gonna be for most of you guys that just picked up your device without spending about $10,000 on the full self-driving package. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just, again, as always, we're gonna go into the software. Just make sure that this, uh, this car right here I was just about to say a device, but pretty much a device. Uh, 339 km, you guys can convert that to miles. So this car is pretty much brand new. Now it doesn't have the autopilot feature. We still see auto steer is in beta. Full self driving visualization is on. Uh, we will offset this to about three kilometers, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, for those of you that don't live in a place that's very strict on their rules. Now we're gonna go ahead and just activate uh, on the city streets. Uh, what autopilot can do so why don't we go ahead and do that so let's begin the drive all right so we're just gonna back out of our parking spot here and then as soon as we can we're just going to activate uh the autopilot which is pretty standard you're gonna get this um, on pretty much every car that you activate it with so it's all right, so we should cancel the navigation here for a second. Cancel navigation. All right, so you guys can take a look outside the screen uh, or outside uh, the window right here. And then we're gonna quickly just activate autopilot by pressing down on the stop two times. So let's go ahead with that. One, two, and here we go. So it's going to adjust the speed and everything uh, according to um, just, you know, everything you see on the screen here is pretty much what it's doing. There is a car in front of us, uh, which we will see the car on the screen here. Uh, pretty good overall. Uh, we're just gonna let it run for a little while and see how it does. Uh, one thing I've noticed here is that uh, it doesn't break as good as I thought. It, it is a little jerky to be honest, but we'll let it go and see how long it can go without me interfering. Now the good thing in this case is that it uh, auto adjusts for the car, which uh, sometimes can be very quick as you guys can see here. And uh, maybe this is a little bit better with the dark mode turned on. There is two cones on the right side. And if you look out the window, there should be two cones right there as well, uh, which is exactly as what is displayed on the vis visualization. So as soon as this car goes, we're going to go. Now, generally guys, autopilot is gonna work in most cases. Uh, however, it is advisable that you keep your hands on the steering wheel because it does do some wonky things at times, to be honest. So uh, just like this, let's see if it turns. Yep, so it does. So yeah, uh, in the city, autopilot does very well as well. Uh, it does not stop for traffic signs. It does not stop for any lights, uh, nothing like that. But generally, if you have a car in front of you, you already know this by a lot of videos online. It does very well. Um, just taking a look at this visualization, we can uh, zoom out a little bit and you guys will see that we have a car behind us which uh, if you guys look into the mirror over there, there's a car behind us, which is nice. So let's take a look at how it stops for this one. We're going at 45 kilometers per hour and it stops pretty smoothly to be honest. So yeah, uh, it is going, I haven't touched the wheel or you know uh, intervened for the last little while, which is really nice. Um, the stopping is really nice. Sometimes can be a little jarring to be honest, but uh, overall, yeah, guys, if you ask me, is it worth it to get $10,000 to drive in the city I mean the autopilot is doing most of it already so uh, my hands are off the steering wheel which isn't advisable but and my feet is off the pedals but yeah guys uh, $10,000 and in Canada is $10,600 definitely not worth it um, this pretty much does everything you guys can adjust everything within the autopilot setting um, and it drives, it does it really well. Here we have all the visualizations, uh, which the light up there is pretty much the same thing. And as soon as it's green, the car should start driving again. So yeah, guys, um, there's, I don't know, there's not much I have to say about it. Uh, you guys probably know most of it with the autopilot already. I really wish that full self-driving uh, comes with a uh, trial version of it so that I can try it out and see if it's worth it. That's probably the best way that Tesla can incentivize us but yeah, take a look at the lines. They're doing really well. I haven't really intervened for the longest time. Um, I'd rather take the free package until that day comes that 
you know the car can 100% drive on its own and everything is good so uh, just for the last little bit here we're gonna let it stop right at this uh, this car uh, with the blinkers on and uh, yeah guys so that pretty much wraps it up for uh, this little shot of autopilot pretty much on the basic uh, standard range model Y the cheapest version autopilot is available across all of them right now so yeah if you guys enjoyed these videos make sure you drop a comment below any opinions any recommendation would be fantastic and yeah once again guys hope you enjoyed it peace out he's been like that all day okay oh yeah